Mr. Souls, I'll restate the question. What existing entities in Bessemer do you feel are best able to promote the city and what will you do to foster a good relationship between those entities and City Hall? Uh, the City of Bessemer Community and Economic Development Office, the uh, Bessemer Chamber of Commerce, I would like to see them work hand in hand together to bring more businesses into the city, to have more business opportunities uh, for the uh, businesses uh, trying to locate here in the city I have supported the chamber. I supported them, uh, you know, I'm a member. And also, uh, not only that, I have supported the chamber in the past when it came to uh, funding in the, uh, in the budget. And we'll continue to do that. But I think we need to use our community economic development office more to, uh, to foster, uh, I guess, a good business partnership between the two. Thank you. Last question. I hope I read this one right. What, and this uh, will go with uh, Mr. Marshall first, then Mr. Souls, and then Mr. White. What specific actions will you take to ensure that City Hall, the Public Economic Development Office, and private economic development groups within the city work together? Well, as I mentioned earlier, our strength is in partnering with people who have a common goal. So all of the entities within city government as well as the citizens, once we capture and embrace that vision of partnership and working together to make progress, we're going to continue to stumble along as we're stumbling along now. My, my background is building partnerships, and I will work very diligently to make sure that we work with the mayor and the rest of the council to bring in all of the team leaders, to bring in the department heads, and start really focusing in on the importance of us working together. That's one of my goals, bring the council, the mayor's office together, economic development, all of the other entities of the city to map out a real strategy, have a target, have a goal in terms of where we're going, and understanding that if we don't get petty and we're not selfish, we can accomplish that goal by simply working together. It's a simple process, but we've got to put egos aside and understand that there's much strength with us working together. Thank you. Mr. Souls, I'll restate the question. What specific actions will you take to ensure that City Hall, the Public Economic Development Office, and private economic development groups within the city work together? As to that question, uh, my opinion on that, first of all, you know, it's just very limited to what the council can do and uh, as far as our structure of our government. The uh, mayor being the executive officer, you know, he's in charge of certain things. Council, uh, council members are in charge of certain things, but I can say this. I will support the partnership between those entities. I will support new businesses coming into the city and those businesses that exist here in the city. I will support them as far as economic development is concerned. Whatever partnership that we can foster between whatever entities may be, I'm in support of that if it's going to be uh, more economic, uh, gets financial uh, gains for the city as far as taxes are concerned. Uh, I'm for it, and I think my record had proven that. The uh, things that I felt that was not very prudent to the city, I voted against it. Those things that I felt that were, I did. Thank you. Mr. White, what specific actions will you take to ensure that City Hall, the Public Economic Development Office, and private economic development groups within the city work together? First of all, as Mr. Soule said, one council member can only do so much. He can, he's only got one vote. The biggest thing that we have right now is we, we have our industrial development board, our economic development boards, but for some reason or another, we, 
uh, we can't keep the politics out from under these people trying to partner up with other businesses and, and, and bring them into the city of Bessemer. Uh, I think that you have to put your faith in the people that you put on these boards and let them feed you back the information that you need and then share that information with the citizens of Bessemer. If it's best for Bessemer, then it's best for everybody. Share it with the council and the mayor. If it's best for the council and the mayor and they vote on it, then those are things that we need to do. But we've got to take the politics out of every board that we have and that we have appointed here in the city of Bessemer. Thank you. Now, to conclude with this group from District uh, 5, we'll ask uh, one minute for a summation. We'll begin with Mr. Souls, then Mr. White, and end with Mr. Marshall. I have served the district, District 5 for the past four years. Four years ago, I decided to run, and I was elected. I said I would uh, vote against waste for spending, help to uh, get the streets paved, better benefits for the employees. If you look and check my record, I've done those things. Streets are being paved, so I'm saying now that they're being paved because it's election time. That's one of my goals, and that's what we're doing. We have a plan now. And who, no matter who's there, if you execute the plan, we can continue to pave streets until all our streets and roads throughout the city are in good shape. I voted against waste for spending. Two million dollars that went down the drain to one of the dealerships, local dealerships. Don't know whether they ever, you won't never get that money back. Ten thousand dollars a month to, uh, given to a, a, a lobbyist for what? Check my record, speaks for itself. I am who I am. I won't tell you that I'm going to do this or do that. I do what I tell you I'm going to do. Thank you. I appreciate y'all coming tonight. My name is Robert White. I'm running for District 5. First and foremost, I believe that the one thing that we can leave the city of Bessemer is a strong group generation of young children and, and adults to move this city forward. Us older folks, there's not going to be here that many more years. But our children are, are very important, and I have a strong, strong feeling about Either way you shake it up, the money that we owe the city of the city of Bessemer owes the Board of Education. That's not a loan. It's not a gift. That was taxes that was voted on on ad valorem tax down in Montgomery. That was taxes that was voted on for your children and your grandchildren in 1987. Don't care if they've got $50 million. Those taxes belong to the Board of Education, not the city of Bessemer, to balance their budget, find it somewhere else, leave our children and our schools money alone, and I'm going to see to it that we find that money if y'all elect me your, in District 5. Thank you. Mr. Marshall. Well, again, let me thank the Chamber for this forum. District 5 definitely needs fresh leadership someone who has the ability and understands the importance of making decisions based on facts rather than emotions. District 5 needs a responsive district representative, someone who respects you enough to return your phone calls and to address your issues. District 5 needs and the city needs a representative who understands the importance of creating sound budgets who understands the importance of delivering money to entities that ought to get money, such as the school board. Money cannot be held in City Hall because City Hall cannot get its business in order. District 5 needs Ron Marshall to be a leader who will provide you with fresh leadership. Thank you. Let's give them a hand. Thank y'all.